in golf, your equipment is paramount to importance, especially these little things, golf balls. And every golfer, regardless of their ability, has that one burning question that never fully gets answered. What sort of golf ball should I use? There are multiple attributes that make these little things the right golf ball for you. But in this video, we're gonna make that decision simpler than it's ever been before. Oh baby! This is the best golf balls in 2022 for not only beginners, but everyone. Welcome back to the channel. For you that don't know, my name is Aaron. Many call me Azzy and most call me the bear. And I am, on a good day, a three handicap golfer, but more recently, a 30 handicap golfer. As we've already mentioned today, these little things are some of the most important bits of equipment that a golfer will have at their disposal. And with so many options, some built for distance, some built for a feel around the greens, and some just built to look colorful, it's sometimes that little bit overwhelming to decide which one you should be playing. Probably the most well-known golf ball in golf is the market leader, the Titleist Pro V1, but they cost 45 pounds per dozen. And if you play golf twice a week and lose up to three golf balls every round, over a year, that's over 1,000 pounds lost in the bushes. And you never know what's lurking in the bushes. It's estimated that at the Titleist golf ball plant, they produce over 1 million golf balls per day. That's a lot of lost golf balls and a lot of profit. And that brings me beautifully to the point of this video. We have thought long and hard, hours on the internet, and I mean hours. We think the perfect golf ball for you comes down to two main factors. Factor number one, price. Factor number two, performance. And with that in mind, we've done all the testing so that you don't have to. We've taken what we consider four of the best golf balls for 2022 and we have put them to the ultimate test of price versus performance to get you that ultimate value for money rating for a range of different price point and different performance golf balls. But in order to perform the ultimate test, I'm gonna need some help. Announce beef. So here's how me and beef are gonna perform the ultimate test over a couple of days in a couple of locations. First of all, we're gonna hit some drivers, see exactly how they feel, and we're also gonna hit some irons, see exactly how they feel and how they perform. We'll also get some data to back that up in Murray Golf Club's state-of-the-art foresight simulator. Then we'll move to the short game, we'll hit some chips, we'll hit some long pats, we'll hit some short pats. We'll see how they feel off the club face, and then ultimately, we'll come up with our ultimate value for money rated golf ball. Price versus performance, it really could not be simpler. And let's find out now what are four contenders for best golf ball for beginners and potentially everyone in 2022 are. Take it away, beef. First up for testing, we have the Srixen Distance, Amazon's number one selling golf ball, coming in at 12.99 per dozen. Next up, we have the Tour Response golf ball from TaylorMade, but not just the normal Tour Response. We have the game-breaking, widely talked about yellow and white Tour Response ball to test as well, coming in at £32 a dozen. Third on the list, you got it right. It's the number one ball in golf. It's Titleist Pro V. And so at this point, I should apologise, we could not source Pro V, so instead we have brought you... TaylorMade TP5X, <laughs> coming in at £45. Per dozen. And our wild card today, the one that we don't really know much about, this is the much talked about Costco Kirkland Signature Golf Ball, coming in at just £15 per dozen for a three piece Eurothing golf ball. These could revolutionise the golf game as we know it. So there we have it, our four contenders for the best golf ball for beginners in 2022. But before we start the testing, please like the video, help us get to 300 likes on this video, purely for the fact, if nothing else, that I've spent over £100 on golf balls I'm probably going to lose very soon. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button for us, it really helps us out. So first up, we're on the course with the driver. We're gonna hit all four of the balls down a fairway and see exactly how they feel and they respond in terms of distance and off the face. In 
terms of strike, I actually don't think I could have struck them much more consistent, to be honest. So this could be a pretty decent test. So what I'm expecting to see here is the Strixon feels that little bit harder being a two-piece golf ball, but you get what you pay for, guys. You get what you pay for. The other three actually performed pretty similar. For me, the premium felt best off the face, but we'll find out in terms of raw distance how that went. So we find this down on the fairway at all the golf balls, actually after hitting four decent shots. As we expected, the three premium, more premium golf balls, all in a similar distance within maybe five yards of each other. So that's just down to strike. But 20 yards up the fairway, we have that Srixen distance doing exactly what it says in the tin. Now let's get into the simulator to get some actual data. Right, okay, what we're gonna do here is I am in the simulator here at Murray Golf Club, my home club. Make sure that you check that out in the description and contact John Murray for bookings. But I have got the driver. We're gonna hit the golf balls and compare all the data. Let's see how we get on. And as you can see from the footage, we've got that beautiful man, the beefcake, getting some stinging draws in the sim as well. But we're only going to use my data in the simulator, despite me having a bit of a terrible day. The golf balls themselves, we felt they performed pretty similar to what they did on the golf course. However, the Kirkland for me felt a little bit lighter. I don't know if that's come across in the data. And here it is, the data. It actually showed that the best performing golf ball overall and the lowest spinning golf ball somehow was the tour response. I think this might be slightly more towards the user error rather than the actual golf ball. The Srixen, as expected, was lower spinning than the other two and the Kirkland and the TP5 performed very similar. Overall, the tour response was best. And so for the next test, irons. How do they feel off the irons? So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna hit into a 25 mile an hour wind and see how they all feel. So now let's go hit some shots and we'll let you know how each ball feels after that. So a tough day for the boys to be testing golf balls into a 25 an hour wind, but I can tell you that the three more premium golf balls, everything except the Srixen distance, felt very similar. The Srixen felt slightly firmer, slightly less receptive, and the Kirkland maybe felt the lightest like it would float in the air. But let's get into that simulator after Beefcake hitting a pepper show at that pin and find some data. And we are back up here in the simulator, but instead of me hitting a 7 iron for the data here, we're going to get a much better ball striker. It's going to be the Beefcake that's hitting 7 irons for you for the numbers. And there you have it, the man that just simply loves to perform the beefcake hit some absolute pin-seeking piss missiles for data. But let's get into his numbers. The numbers were fairly consistent across the board, with exception of spin. The tour response also once again coming out as the lowest spinning golf ball. The Kirkland as the highest, as we thought maybe it felt a little bit lighter, but overall very, very comparable. Next up, chipping is very important to have a little feel around the greens. So let's see exactly how all these golf balls feel around the greens with a few chips. For the chipping, the Srixen distance was the ball that lacked that feedback. As expected, the golf ball is literally just not built for that, but the other three performed very, very similar. The tour response in the Kirkland acting very similar, and the premium golf ball just giving you that little bit more feel. Now for me, a key factor in how a ball performs, how it feels off the putter face. Let's see how we got on now. And as you can see from the filming, we tried both long and short pats with similar results. Again, the Srixen distance just felt that little bit heavier. It's not built for feel. But all the other golf balls, they performed very well. All felt nice off the face. So let's see exactly what you've been hanging around for. It's time for the results. And now we come to the results, everything you've waited for. First of all, we're gonna look at this, the Srixen distance. Now, in terms of value for money, I would say this is probably about 4 out of 5. 
There is a reason that this is Amazon's best-selling golf ball. At £12.99 a dozen, these things do the business, especially if you're a mid to high handicapper and lose a few golf balls around. The only thing for the lower kind of handicaps and for the mid and high handicaps is the feel around the green is noticeably that little bit firmer, so they're a little bit clunkier, but they do the job and they're good value for money. So now we have the tour response. We would say this is a 3.5 out of 5 for value for money. Great feel and touch around the greens, however a little bit more on the pricier side compared to some balls, but would definitely recommend this for a low, mid to low handicapper. Third on the list, we have the premium golf ball of the bunch, coming in at £45 a dozen. Value for money rating, we are giving these a 3.5 out of 5. I think you get what you pay for for the low handicap side of things in terms of feel, but in terms of performance, there isn't much difference. However, the Beefcake, he's given them a 3. He thinks that there is other golf balls on the market, much better value for money, especially for mid to high handicappers. Let us know what you think. Would you pay the money for these or would you rather play a more cheaper alternative? And finally, last but most certainly not least, the Kirkland Signature Wall. This was a shock for both of us. The feel for me is just a little bit off compared to some of those premium balls around the greens. However, for value for money, I believe there is no better ball than this right now. I'm giving it a 5 out of 5. However, the bear has said he would go 4.5. But when pushed, what ball can he say is better value than this? None. He can't. He cannot. <laughs> Let us know your thoughts in the comments. So to round off this video, we are basically saying that the Kirkland is well worth your time. Have a look into it. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. If you've liked this video, make sure you hit the like button. It helps us out more than you can imagine. Hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. And then why not consider watching how Scotty broke 80 in this video.